Hello everyone, and welcome back to Season 3 of Minecraft. I've spent a little bit of time, not a lot, but a little bit, gathering up animals. Just going around my island, trying to get them all to follow me. So I can enclose them in one place. I see a creeper. Yes, come on piggy. Piggy cows, good. Cats and pigs and cows and pigs and cows and pigs. You need to thank you. Haven't lost any yet. This is a slow process. And the place I'm bringing them all to is over there. So, you know, this, this does take a little while. Uh, going across the water is probably going to be faster than leading them around. No, if I lost those guys, oh, I've lost that guy. Eh, this will do for now. There's a cave down there somewhere I was trying to find. Because I could hear mobs. And it looks like that guy is still there. Good. I was worried I might have lost him. Got a zombie villager. He just came up to me and I was like, okay, I'm going to close you in. And chuck him an item and he happens to be one little pick one up. So that's handy that I'll stop him despawning. Come on. A little bit further. I think I have this area pretty well lit up. Inevitably there will be a spot I've missed and a creeper will spawn, but... Come on. Nearly there. In you come. Come on, Piggy. There we go. Okay, that'll do for now. Um, so the plan for today, I don't really know. I'm going to start, I guess, building a little starter house just over here on this patch of land. Um, just as a basic thing. And then I might start laying the foundations for the first building that's going to go over there. Have I mentioned what I'm doing with this island? Did I mention it last episode? I actually can't remember. Um, I'm reviving the museum idea that I never got around to last season, and that's what's going to be on the island. So there's going to be wings of the museum sort of over there, 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 and here. And obviously the portal will go there, bridges will go to it, and my base will be around the monument. Which means a lot of underwater building, which means a lot of glass, but I'm going to need a lot of sand to clear the monument, so getting that much glass probably will not be difficult. I'll just smelt up all the sand when I'm done. Now over there, you can see a marker. And that is marking something very, very interesting. When I picked this island, I had a look around on a copy of the world in Spectator, and there was a zombie and a skeleton spawning near each other, sort of over there, I think. Um, turns out they are not close enough together. However, over here, we do have something pretty interesting. I had to only roughly where this thing was, but I had to dig around a bit to find all of it, shall we say. Boom. First of all, zombie spawner. Secondly, yeah, going down. Hello, bats. And still going down. Yeah, you wouldn't think this would be closer to the zombie spawner. It is. Boom. Another zombie spawner. And as we come around here, boom, spider spawner. And boom, cave spider spawner. All four of these spawners are close enough together to make one farm. So that should be an interesting challenge because 
zombies and cave spiders and spiders is a very interesting combination of mobs, really. Um, I might not actually make them into one farm. I mean, you don't really need a spider farm if you've got a cave spider one. Because they have the same drops and they're sort of easy to deal with because they're one block wide. But it could be an interesting challenge to try and do one farm for all four spawners. And as I said, they are all in range. I have tested that in um, in the, the copy of the world. Um, might be worth demonstrating, actually. What are my game sounds on? Normal. What's my computer sound on? Not showing me. Really? That's annoying. Um, I mean, obviously those two are close enough together. Uh, yeah, that seems quiet. It's probably fine on the video, of course. So there, 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 you can see that's active, that's active, and that's active. And the other zombie one should be above me and to one side here. Don't know how far up I'd have to dig for that. Um, well, my coordinates here are. 6, 9, 14, 60, 52, 9, 14, 52, 9, 14, 52, 9, 14, 52, 9, 14, 52, 9, 14, 52. So roughly here. Um, and as you can see, that is active from sort of over here. I mean, this isn't a precise thing. I would have to dig out the entire area here, and I will. Um, I have got a beacon after all. Um, but yeah, trust me, they are all close enough together. So that will certainly be an interesting project a little way down the line. Not just now. There are, of course, a range of other spawners in the area, scouts and spawners and the like, so I won't be lacking those drops. It's just I won't be incorporating it into that farm because there's no skeleton spawner, sadly. So I could take on my ocean monument today, actually, couldn't I? The thing with taking on my ocean monument is I have to be really careful about it because, obviously, I'm doing a museum. I'm going to want mob specimens. If I want mob specimens, I want an Elder Guardian. If I want an Elder Guardian, I have to not kill them all, otherwise I'll have to bring one in from miles away, and that will be a nightmare. But that means I have to drain the room the Elder Guardian is in, without killing the Elder Guardian, and then get it out with a minecart. While I will have mining fatigue because of the Elder Guardians. <laughs> so that's going to be a challenge. Um, hello, cow. Come with me. So yeah, I'll, I guess I'll decide what I want to do this episode. I will probably at least start by getting sort of a dirt hut set up. Come on, cow. Do not vex me. It's nothing amazing, but, you know, it's just temporary. It'll do. We've got bridges out on each side of this island. And just a little basic wooden stone slab house just you know so I've got somewhere to put stuff um you know just simple so the next thing I need to do is go into my copy of the world that I designed the thing on and I think I am going to start laying the foundations or the outline at least for the build that will be on the far side of the island over there what do you think yeah you think it's a good idea Okay, we have his agreement. Let's do it. So the dimensions of this thing are, well I don't need to know the height of it at the moment, 
so it is just 45 back and 51 wide. So let's see how best to decide on its placement. I don't mind if it goes partly over the water, I'd just rather it not go massively over the water. So if I come into about here, so it can go over the water a bit there and there, that seems reasonable. So we're going to say 51, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Uh, 39. That leaves 12. So 6. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six. I could probably go further out this way actually because it's like near the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so knock five off the other end. I mean, the exact placement doesn't matter at all, really. I just want it fairly far out on this area of land. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, knock it back on the other way there. Knock it back the other way by one. Try and get some words in order there. That'll do. So that's the 51, now I need the 45, which is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 43, 44, 45. Uh, I don't know. I feel I might actually want to push it out onto the water more. Maybe. I need to see this from above. And in daylight. Thank you, Elytra, for deploying so magnificently that it was almost as if you didn't deploy at all Emperor's new Elytra. Yeah, there's definitely something funny with my sound. The volume's fine. I say it's probably not affecting the video at all. The video will just be getting all the sound just I hope it's getting all the sound just fine. Um, after yesterday's Surgeon Simulator, I'm suddenly less confident in that. Okay. So yeah, I need to see this from above. Yeah, I think that needs pushing out. Because I want a large thing there. So it needs to go out like 10 blocks maybe. I mean, where, where, does, where does this come up to that I want the... About here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, about ten blocks. So it's going to be on the water, but that's fine. I was going to say it'll just be more diorite um, going downwards, but I'll probably just do like bricks or something at the bottom as a support thing. Um, because I'm I've I I've done a project before that's diorite down to the seabed. Um. <laughs> First world. Uh, not that that means I can't ever do it again, but y you know what I mean. And I just need to come across here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five. Good. So that is going to be the footprint for this building. I don't need things to be precise here, so I'm just going to say that is the footprint, that is where it's going. I'm not going to move it again. <laughs> Unless there's a really good reason. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, 
That'll do. Okay, so the next thing is, what is the floor level going to be at the probable entrance point? It is, I guess, probable entrance point will be... I guess I'll make this the ground level, because it's easy to lower that to it and raise some across here to it. Um, yeah, so this can be the ground level and the entrance will be somewhere along here. And you can probably hear a plane going over. Uh, so I'm going to need some dirt, I guess. Well, I'll just take this for a start. I've come over here to pick up some cobble so I can fill in the space under where the grass is going to be. And a note on this, it broke again. Um, I've changed some of the repeater timings. So now, before I had it so the TNT would drop in the middle of these being down just to minimise the risk from a missed timing. Um, now I've got it so that these pistons push back up before the next block of stone pushes in. So it should now be impossible for the thing to happen where a block gets in here and gets pushed upwards. I mean, it was impossible to do the pushed upwards because there's obsidian, but... Um, in theory, I could take the obsidian out now, actually. In theory. Um, I'd rather leave it in, though. Um, so now it should be completely impossible for that to happen. Um, so I think that's now on three ticks up there, and then down here, we've got fours up to here, and then a three and a one, which could be a two and a two, doesn't matter, and they're all on one now. And hopefully that should stop that issue. And, I mean, it's been running since I fixed it, and it's filled up, because that chest was empty and the shulker box was about half full. So there we go, shulker box for the cobble. And then we will take the easy way back by going to the hello shulker. Let me watch this, watch this. Nothing. Levitation, underwater, nothing. Come to me shells. Of course, now I have to get out of the water. Please make it. I don't want to go in the water. Please. Damn it! <laughs> that looks so close as well. Actually, it wasn't very close at all. No real progress on the rabbits, other than that I've got two different colours now. I did get two of these guys following me in the desert, and then I got creepered. Um, so that was the thing. I don't know what's going on here. Judging by the shape of it and the fact that there's villagers, it's going to be one of those automatic crop farms. And as I say, the quickest way back to my base is going to be... So you can finish this thing now. No. We still haven't gotten the pick duplicated. Quickest way back to my base. Portal sound is really loud. Um, is gonna just be to go through the end exit. Like so. Okay. Sit you in there. Grab some cobble. And sleep. I used up the entire shulker box of cobble and had to go back and get another one and a couple of extra stacks and I still had to use a couple of stacks of dirt. <laughs> I underestimated this job quite a bit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
This should be 9 in from the edge on all sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Because that's all going to be filled in with diorite and stuff. This bit in the middle is going to be grass. And it is going to look like, let's see, 2 in there and there. And that no, uh, so that's the two, that's the two, and I'm just going to replace that with grass because I'm not waiting for it to grow. And then one, two. And then over here. That looks wrong. That is wrong. So Yes, that's correct. So then that's going to carry on along here. So it's the same thing. One, two, three, four. That's not right. Is it? No, that's right. So one, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I wish you could do something like haste with making paths <laughs> as well as mining blocks. Um, I'll speed this up a bit. Okay, let's just get the corner ones in. Do -do. Do -do. And that corner is already done. Right. Next is going to be the trim of slabs. And this is actually going to need to go two blocks down because there's going to be a path blocking on the next uh, on the next line inside. Um in fact, this entire area in the middle is going to have to go down anyway. I'm going to have to kill this sheep in a minute, because it is going to get in the way. And that's all going to need to be grass in the middle, so I'm going to have to dig out even more stuff. It's a process. Okay. So, do 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 Chicken, you are in the way. Oh, please tell me I've got enough slabs. Two, two, sure, really. That's pretty annoying. But fine, I can make more. Let's just dump some nonsense in there. And then this all needs to come out and be grass. So that I can turn some of it into paths. I mean, all the cobble needs to come out and then the dirt needs to be replaced with grass at the edges. It can grow inwards, that's fine. But the cobble has to go, obviously. You watch, I'll have, I'll have miscounted something and this will all be completely wrong. Sun's going down as well, not that much fun. And so this is just another two wide and then corners.
and that is it. So the remaining section in the middle should be how many? Eleven, I think. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven by seventeen. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Good, I have actually built the thing correctly. That is a relief. Okay, and that is all I'm building on this thing for the time being. But that is a nicely done foundation. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, looking very good. Very good indeed. That'll all grow in, that's fine. Yeah, that's that's good. But that is just about all the time I have for this episode. I could probably squeeze a bit more in, but not that it wouldn't be a big project to be starting at this point, so that is going to be it for this episode. If you've enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, share, favourite and comment, help support the channel, follow me on Twitter to stay up to date what's going on, and subscribe if you want to see more. I am pretty excited to actually be starting to build a project this time round. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.